Hello and welcome to Off the Beaten Pot, where I'm bringing great food back to the great outdoors. My name is Tom, and today I'm looking at five game-changing items that I'd wish I'd have bought sooner when learning to cook in the great outdoors. In no particular order, it is my cheapo pillbox herb and spice store. So you can buy these from most pharmacies. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, this one... I bought for a pack of two for three pounds and it's just a great way of storing not much so you, so you don't you can take seven different types of herbs and spices out without having to bring seven massive containers I've seen people use tic tac bottles but they're really flimsy and have a habit of snapping these are designed to be robust I've got a metal one which is uber robust but this one is nice and flat can fit in your pocket if you want to the great thing about these is you can have seven different varieties or you know usually you're more likely to use more salt than pepper so you can have two salt two pepper and three additionals um, I've got seven different types just because I was testing so pepper salt paprika chili flakes garlic mixed herbs and turmeric um, they're the ones I use a lot of the most but not enough to warrant bringing seven full things out if you're cooking for a lot of people you can just have all of the dry ingredients you need like herbs and spice wise and then you can just open it all up dump it in your pot and then forget about it so you can even pre-organize the quantities that you put in number two is one of these folding windshields I know you can get loads and loads of different types but the reason I love this one is they're lightweight, they pack flat um, they're not crinkly when you open them, they're robust and they're going to last ages. You can buy them longer um, if you need them longer. This is perfect, perfect for Tranja, um, Tranja Mini and Tranja Triangle. I used to use a well-placed backpack or I used to use one of those um, crinkly foil ones, which I never, ever liked, ever. And then I got put onto this, which I'm sure most of you know already, but I would say worthwhile investing in it and get a couple of sizes lengthwise. Number three is a designated knife. So I used to use my pocket knife or my multi-tool for doing my cooking with. Um, and they can be clunky and not always ergonomical. If you're out bushcrafting, you've probably got the right gear for it, the right knife, the one knife to rule them all. But this, I find, is the smaller Opinel um, carbon steel. I like carbon steel because it keeps a sharp edge. And if it does get dull, you can sharpen it on pretty much anything with a rough surface. I've had this one for years and the only maintenance it really needs is every now and again clean off the, um, the steel and add just a drop of oil and rub it in. It can be olive oil just rubbed in just to keep it moving. I like that they've got a lock so it's less dangerous um, and although it's small it's got a reasonable amount of surface area to not be um, too horrible to chop with. So this is my designated cooking knife. I still bring a multi-tool Sometimes a bushcraft knife out with me, but this one is what I use for cooking, and I adore it. Next up, ferro rod. So I've had a ferro rod for years, but not one as nice as this. This was made, made for me, and I think it's beautiful. Um, but I never really used to bother taking them out. I used to think these were only for starting sort of fires whilst out doing bushcraft. But I've used this a lot to... Um, start my tranger up and um, other stoves and even um, cooking fires, like, um, outdoors fires, proper fires and fire pits but I really love it and I, um, I think that it's um, small enough to put in your bag, not feel the weight and forget about and it's there if you need it, it's there if your lighter fails and I think that's, that's worth something so I think this is lovely, it's a ferro rod, I've talked about it before and I probably will again Second from last is my Gerber Complete. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. If you need more detail, you can see the video here. This has been a game changer for me in the outdoors. Not everyone likes the bulk, but the beauty of it is if you don't like the bulk, you can just take one of the items. The fork is a spork. Um, spoon. But then the selling point for me with this is the fact that it's tongues. And when Gerber Complete came out and did this, they were pretty much the only people doing this. You can get this a lot now, in certainly in the barbecue utensil world. But this was the game changer. It has a few other odds and sods in this multi-tool here. But the selling point for me is it's lightweight. It doubles up, triples up even. Spatula, serrated edge. Um, 
spoon, fork, and I really don't mind how much it, I mean, it takes up very little in your backpack. It's a lot, it's a little heavier and bulkier than just the spoon, but if you'd want just the spoon, you can take just the spoon, and that's the beauty of it. And lastly, because I like to do um, fresh food cooking when I'm outdoors, and most a lot of the time, it's having this chopping board. I always thought they were a bit superfluous, and I'd just use the plate I would eventually use, but actually having a chopping board is great, especially if you can use this side. I wouldn't cut along the middle because you might eventually ruin it, but you do your chopping on the side, then you can fold it up and pour it into your pan, and you lose very little. And again, very thin, but it's food grade plastic, and I think MSR have done a great job on that. So thank you very much for making it through that little video of looking through five items that are absolute game changers when cooking in the great outdoors. If you would like to sign up for um, new uh, recipes from time to time, as well as this free e-cookbook, I printed this one off because I'm a geek, um, then there's a link below to join my email list. Um, I'd love to see you there. I won't bombard you. Um, every now and again, I will send you some fresh recipes updated cookbooks and some hints and tips so hopefully i will see you there thank you very much cheers and gone